I think it's Monday night. Is it Monday night? I think so. It's Monday night. What's up, live casters? We got an action-packed, information, fun-packed show for you tonight. Let's start with a cocktail. All right, ice, vodka. It's a, uh, it's a riff on the classic uh, vodka and Red Bull. The only change is we're just gonna add a little orange juice, a splash. Watch, splash, boom, that's it. And then take your index finger and do that. <laughs> take a sip and then go over there. If it's anybody's fault, it's Radio Shack, because I got a new thing. Um, I, I thought it was down. supposed to be are working. Here, are, you, are, you, are you okay? We were oh, hearing wait. each other earlier. I know. It's not working now. But wait, you can hear me right now for some reason. You can cut to my camera line. No, I just <laughs> got it. You know what? Uh, this drives Max insane. Oops, yeah, it really does. Uh -huh. I know, but I can't help it. Do you want me to bring you headphones? If it's going to happen. This piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you want me to bring you headphones? <sighs> Sam Freak Out Part 2. Welcome to Monday Night. I'm hearing like every second word. It's like when I talk, it's like that. Guy Davis knows that. us too well. He already wrote, it's Monday, bitches. Get Monday, a cocktail bitches. and join. By the way, did you notice Guy's got a new uh, Facebook pic? Yeah. Yeah, we, we caught on to that. <laughs> there's more of you. There was less of you before. Yeah, yeah. You're slowly moving. You know what? I think in another two months, there's going to be a full body pic of Guy, right? Yeah. Because before there was like half his face. He did the half face thing. Now there's like most of his face, eight tenths, and then there'll be the whole thing, and then here, and then lower, and then the whole full, and then there he'll be in a tuxedo one day. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> He's going to have like a profile picture tuxedo next week. Can we... Oh, we're down a man. Yeah, can we just say oh, that? No. We're already... Oh, no, 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 God. I can do it. Watch just this. No, no, watch oh, it. No, no, why no, can't no, I do no, it? Because... No. Why? Just sit there. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Steve, man. So, Steve. What we're, we're here saying, back here. Oh, I got to look we were, at this. We were saying. Oh, there yeah. comes the color in my skin back. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Look at it right now. Little, and little, now look, look at, at that's it. brightness. There you go. Oh, there you See? go. You don't look like the kid <laughs> from I'm not uh, a ghost. Twilight. <laughs> I swear I'm not a ghost. So, we're down a man. And if you notice, Sean's not here. I'm in his seat. Mm -hmm. And I'm in Lynn's seat. I and then there's it. nobody in my seat. Anything. Okay. Take it out. I'm bringing you headphones, okay? Stop yeah, complaining about headphones. it. I'm bringing you headphones. You I think I just got it figured out. I'm okay right this yeah, second. You got it. All right. God, I'm hot too. <sighs> we oh, all need You know what? Chill. I didn't turn the air conditioning on oh, until, oh, until like way too late today. And it didn't have a chance to bring the temperature down. <laughs> and do you know why I didn't? Because I heard mom's voice in my ear going, do you have any idea what the electricity bill is? It's like eight jillion dollars. And I go, I know, but I'm hot. I can't, I can't be hot when I work. There's an energy crisis. There, it's actually, there is actually not an energy there crisis. Is. No, there's not. It's a crisis in my no, bank account. No, there's no, oh, there may be a bank account crisis, but there's no energy crisis. I agree. Crisis. Like, if you need to be comfortable during a show. You got to be comfortable, gotta am be I right? Comfortable, yeah. It doesn't help that I'm wearing a freaking flannel shirt. Yeah, why? But what? you know what? Please, will fall show up already? Damn it. It's enough with the sunny weather. I'm from Canada. I like the cool weather. Well, the first day of fall. Happened already, right? Yes. Okay. We got a full house tonight. Mm -hmm. It's the fall live cast season. Yeah, check this out. What kind of people yeah, you know what? Kelly keeps saying to me, when are you going to make this? When are you going to make this? And I go, the weather has been like freaking up 200 degrees. I'm not gonna make a stew and a casserole and all that shit when it's super hot outside. Wait, we got a game. I'm gonna start the game right now, then I'm gonna introduce the people on the couch. Here's the game. I don't remember which, um, um, what's that big soccer game every few years? The World Cup? The World, the World Cup, thank you. Is that you. what you have in your hand right there? Right. So I, <laughs> right, so I have the World Cup soccer ball of anthems in my hand and I don't really want to show you because you might get a hint but all of these little flags on here there you go Steve I'll give you a quick look do 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 
do, 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 do. All these uh, flags on here represent a different anthem. We have a contest tonight. You ready for it? I'm going to play five anthems over the course of the evening. And whoever gets the most right, <laughs> it's so damn hard, will get something amazing. <laughs> what like. could that be? Steve will come shoot the birth of your first child. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that likely to happen? <laughs> Will you do that? <laughs> hey, you sound a little non-committal. Uh, he's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> a little non -committal. I didn't want to actually, I mean, I know it's, it's, it's an amazing moment. That, I mean, the fact that we can give, we, the fact that women can give birth, it's fantastic. I mean, the fact that we can get pregnant and then you get the thing and the, the child what comes are, Where are you it's going with this? It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable moment. Maybe the Thank greatest you. moment that you ever have in your life. National Geographic. But do we all have to watch that? <laughs> Come over and watch the videos of Julie's giving birth to the twins last week. It's amazing. Can I ask a question? Yes. <laughs> this is via Facebook. Yes. Sean and Courtney Goins just said that we need to sign up for the level pay plan with SDG and E. What oh. is that? Well, I don't even know what that is. That's what I'm asking. Can they please tell me? Yeah. Let's get the SDG and E people. For people not in San Diego, that would be San Diego Gas and Electric. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? I better write these down because I'm not going to remember who I played. <laughs> Here's the very first... Um, the very of. first uh, anthem. Here we go. Ready? I'll play just a few seconds of it. I hope we can hear it. So you can't hear. <laughs> Blake has already guessed Korea. North okay, Korea. I would say this. I would say <laughs> don't guess. Don't guess online. Save up your guesses. There's five of them. If you post your guest, somebody will think that that's right, and they might scoop you on this. Thing. Wait, it, yeah. what do you wait? So they're supposed to save until we listen right. to five of these, and then write, write them all in a row. Write down yes. When I finish the fifth one, the first person that's got the most right. I think maybe we should move on. Wow. Yeah. I think yeah. we should maybe this move past shitty? that. I, I like don't, the I idea, love Dad, this. but... I found this today. Here's the deal. I cleaned up my car. <laughs> I say we and a, and a, a good try. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> okay, let me introduce who's, who we've got here tonight. <laughs> Kelly. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Kelly. Little wave there. What? Uh, Haley. I only see her thigh. There she is. Uh, Jessica. Go back to Haley. There you go. Love you. Hi, Karen Golden. Karen Golden from SanDiegoFoodStuff.com, a blogger, and she writes for San Diego Union Tribune. No. San Diego well, Magazine. San Diego Magazine. She's that's what I meant. And Savor. And Savor. Re, you write for... I can do. you tell me why I was in the supermarket today, yeah. and I saw the brand new Savor on the shelf, and it hasn't arrived here at my fucking house? I don't know, because usually it's the reverse. Usually I know. Subscribers get the you know what? I signed up for Savor about two months ago. And, and I got I got it? two issues of food and wine first. I'm waiting for my food and wine issues to come. Ugh. But I don't want food and wine. I do because I want to <laughs> write for them too. You do? Or you want to write or you I do? I do. I want to. But you write for Savour. I write for Savour. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're coming back to you because you're right. important. By the way, <laughs> she's a blogger and she's going to say nice things about us. And if she doesn't. <laughs> we will drag her name through the effing Check it out. We got a, Wednesday. We got a shot of her. We got a shot of her site right here. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Here's her. Here's her site. Look at that. Oh, look, SanDiegoFoodStuff.com. Yeah, lots of awesome. We're posts. expecting a special story there. Yeah. I didn't even bring my camera. Okay, I'm gonna have to start using my phone to. No, no, we got a camera. Pictures. We can take care of it. We can take yeah, care. Lynn of it. says he can take pictures. Well, look, what is that? What wait, is that? Yeah, what is that? that? I like it. Right there. That? Oh. that is an amazing dish I had at uh, Mission 19, which is Javier Placencia's new restaurant in Tijuana. And that is this um, parfait with avocado cream and scallops Whoa. and cucumbers. Oh, and you just mix it all together to eat it. Oh, God. Okay, wait, I have a question. Uh, yeah. So when all the ugliness went down in, in uh, Mexico, right. starting a few years ago, right, and beheadings and... Horrible mass murders stuff. and all that craziness right yeah 
the the TJ Tijuana. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, it is not Tijuana. It's Tijuana. Right, Steve? Sure. You know that. <laughs> There's no A. You don't know that? I can't tell you the number of newscasters that I see in San Diego that pronounce it Tijuana. There is no effing A there. Well, how do you say And there's no F either, by the way. Tijuana. Saying that it's Tijuana. How do you pronounce the city underneath Tijuana? Starts with an E? Lower Tijuana. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> underneath Tijuana. Yeah. What is it? But actually, and that's not even Ensenada. actually what's below that is Rosarito. And then that's true. But Lua, the bigger city. Point de Nuevo and Careful then. now. Yes. She'll speak you right oh, under I the know. table. <laughs> oh, I know. She's amazing. All right, but so they sent out a they sent out the the Tijuana Tour Sports sent out a thing saying come for dinner, stay for a few nights. We'll take you. I've heard there's amazing food down there. There is absolutely and honestly, food. up to now, I've been scared to go because well, you know what? Because I, it's a little. I stopped going. I used to have a friend who lived in Rosarito, and I went all the time. And we had the most amazing meals. And then when all this trouble started, you stopped. I had to stop. And because who wants to get killed? Who wants to risk any of that stuff? Plus, you know, the police are also not exactly the most savory folks. So you don't know if you get stopped by the police if right. something bad's going to happen to you too. So I like to go down there, but I still only go with people. Who, who really know there or really know it no i think i think there's a you know every so often somebody will come up to me and say uh you know uh we have a home there we go we'd love to have you come down and show you the really special side of tijuana and i know it exists and i just have i haven't done it yet and i will you should and i also want, while i'm, while I'm down there i'd like to see a donkey show <laughs> If you know what I mean. Oh, Ew, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, carrying on from... Uh, you know what Golden. I want to see? Wait, what? Some bluefin tuna. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We got to finish the coach. Uh, <laughs> There's a little dog, Lucky, on the other side of uh, Karen this? Golden. This is my new friend. It's Lucky, Lucky. right? I mean, and my two girls. And uh, c- coming this way from Lucky is Jordan, <laughs> who you've not seen, the uh, my middle child, our middle child. And Brie. No, I think it's actually your middle child. <laughs> and Brie. Let's go Jordan's here. Jordan's significant uh, friend. What do we? What is there a term? <laughs> do we have a term. There? <laughs> Girlfriend. Girlfriend. That's what we use. <laughs> right. right. Wow. What are you making? Really okay, there we go. Uh, well, that was awkward as f. <laughs> okay, we've got You're the first one. You're doing a good one. job at that. Yeah. See, I didn't write down that first anthem. Now I don't remember what the hell it was. We can move on from that. Oh, I do remember. Really I got can't. it. I got it. I got it. No, no, no. Let's, oh yeah, I thought we were. I mean, we're no, I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm about to take the lead on this show. What I think we're doing fine. Um, <laughs> what is only Blake 15 saying? minutes wow. in, we haven't done anything. Nothing. <laughs> We've Not covered one a lot thing. of Seriously, stuff. can we get into Bluefin Tuna? Oh you no, know, can I get into this? <laughs> oh boy. DC Comics is redoing a lot of their uh, yep. personalities. Yeah. Here's the most startling one out of all of them. Welcome to 2011. Batwoman is gay. Get out. Oh, brother. <laughs> she's wow. coming back. Uh, she's coming back. She's making a comeback. Uh, and she's gay. Oh. I think that's very 2011. I'm cool with that. It's kind of sexy, actually. <laughs> I like that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Anthem number two. Uh, anthem, anthem, shut up, I'm in charge. It's not a food show. Anthem <laughs> number two. Can Ready? we just cut it down to three instead of five? No, it's going to be seven if anybody says anything <laughs> else. <laughs> Here we go, number two. Look at Max's facial expression. Look at them in the there. <laughs> there we go we got it all right don't you worry about it everything's fine everything's fine look what steve's doing he's just like what what's going on here this isn't a show all right maxi yes <laughs> we had like 30 things on the thing today to get to and we haven't <laughs> 30 things on the thing i'm right. okay so, so last night we're sitting down for dinner and one of our family friends comes <laughs> over. He just got back from bluefin tuna fishing. They caught like over a hundred <laughs> fish in a two day span, these beautiful, awesome, big bluefin tunas. And then you know what? My dad actually also filmed the show with bluefin tuna at the bluefin tuna farms out in the ocean. Thank you. And you know something cool? 
We've actually got a video of it. And we you do. guys want to see it? We Here have it a little we have a little bit. <laughs> well, you so want to get away from the anthems. I don't know why you're hating on the anthems. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Just I for the record, Max, while you're talking, I had it in my hands. We took it back. Oh, okay. yeah. Steve tried to get it. <laughs> I love the ball, the anthem ball. And everybody said. wants one. You know, <laughs> Kelly went, that's what she said. I know everybody <laughs> wants one of these, and you can't have one. There's not many. This was sent down from a, a, a loved, much loved uncle in Canada. So, Max is referring to the show when Steve and I shot at the Bluefin Tuna Farms in the middle of the ocean. About 40 minutes, 40 minutes, Steve? Yeah. South of here, south of San Diego in uh, Mexican off the waters. the Coronado Islands. Off the, it's called the Coronado Islands, yeah. But not the Coronado we all know. Not the Coronado we so all know. So do they, do they um, farm in, the, in Mexican waters for it's some reason? Yeah, no, it's actually Mexican waters. Well, that's what I'm, I'm curious. Is there a reason that they do that? Well, it's not technically farming, though. It's kind of interesting. No, but they you can't but, farm tuna, but but the, but they refer to it as that. They do. I mean, yeah. that's the, the kind of the term that they. But use. it's not I your think. traditional. It's not like farmed salmon. Um, it's not like farmed salmon in the sense that we saw in uh, New Zealand. Right. That um, yeah, they start them like from they start them from scratch. Right. They actually they actually collect the bluefin tuna when they're smaller out in the middle of the ocean and bring them to this giant, you know, net in the, in their spot. Let's play that and we'll uh, look at it. It's pretty interesting. And in the middle of the ocean with hundreds of tuna swimming around. We missed the shot. The goal is to get the tuna out of the water and into containers as quickly as they can to preserve the condition of the tuna. But these guys aren't doing it a whole bunch of tuna at a time. They're doing it one at a time with divers. So I asked Jaime Quadra of Oceanic Enterprises to explain the rationale in the process. The key and the goal is really to, to preserve the pristine condition of a fish meat. And if we put them in, up in the net, they'll start freaking out and they stress out. And if they freak out, they produce lactic acid. Lactic acid then turns the meat from that pristine, valuable red color that the Japanese are looking for uh. to a pink, milky color. They start by taking the fish out of the blue bins that they went into on the boat. This fish is about, what, four hours old. Just come out of the water. Four hours old. The outside of the fish is, even though they're going for the meat, the outside is really, really important, yeah? Absolutely. A lot of times there'd be some fish that'd be scraped. Yeah. That's what they don't ship to Japan. They don't want to see a perfect fish. You should see it just like this. That's a beauty, huh? Beautiful. It's a beautiful fish. Thanks. I'm Nice shot of my elbow there. Yeah, the thank you. Nice. nice. That so, abruptly so, ended. Look, so here's the thing. <laughs> well, that's what Sam told me to put on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they, there's this uh, net. It's it's a, I mean, a circle of floats about 50, 50 uh, feet wide in the middle of the ocean and a giant net below it. And there's hundreds and hundreds of bluefin tuna that are in there that they feed with their natural diet, little shrimp and I don't know what the sea names are but they fatten <laughs> these things up and then the divers go in the water and coax the uh, tuna up onto the boat and it's gonna sound gross but within about a s five or ten seconds of being on the boat they have to take the the sensory part of the tuna out of its head because if they don't, the tuna understands that it's being screwed with and it will put a toxin through its body that will render its flesh distasteful and useless. useless. Really? Right. Whoa. So they do it very quickly. It's this thing that just, I mean, it's just this crazy movement. We chose not to show on the show because it just was kind of grody, but, but the tuna come up on the boat and in 10 seconds they're done. And then... Uh, two minutes later, they're cleaned out, and they're in this giant uh, vat of ice, and they go to the the shore, and within 24 hours of being caught or stolen or rescued, whatever you call it, they're in uh, the Skiji market in Tokyo being auctioned off. That's the most amazing part. The That's thing. the most amazing part. I should show that. I've got that footage somewhere when I was in Tokyo a few years ago. Yeah. I mean, 12 or something years ago. I'm curious. So do we know more about the distribution of where the bluefin tuna goes, or does it all go straight to Tokyo? What these guys were catching at this particular place, I think about 85% were going to Japan. 
Wow. Oh, really? Which is a lot. Yep. Yeah. And do we get any here in San Diego? No, we do get some okay. here. And actually, we had some that day. And it, oh, my God. Oh. Like butter. Like butter. It was like it butter. It was like freaking butter. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. It, it was, was amazing. the best. Kind of so my friend Joe, we call him Joe G, uh, brought me. He called last night. He goes, I'm getting off the boat. I've got a lot of tuna and I'm bringing you some. And he brought me a bunch. And I'm going to cook with it tonight. Who? Yeah. Well, we yeah. 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 Sounds good. Speaking of bluefin tuna, yeah. Check out Blake's picture. Blake already? He Sorry, it has nothing to do with bluefin <laughs> tuna. <laughs> Says it's the donkey cast. <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, you said you wanted to see a donkey show earlier. But... <laughs> oh. Uh... Yeah. Thanks for like the 13-year-old girl in there, Blake. <laughs> that really makes me like a complete creepophile. Yeah. O only that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, can I show this? I'm not being paid by them. I'm just gonna say this. Oh, got that. Still have that bad nail. Do you want to see it? No, no, no we don't. It's still Never bad. Mind, sorry. Steve sorry. and I, Steve and I shot supermarket stuff yesterday, and I had to hide this. You have no idea how many times he pointed out he was grossed out by this. <laughs> nail. So I'll hide it right here. Um, I'm doing dishes today, which I do all the time. And a certain odor came up from my garbage disposal. As, as wants to happen in many people's garbage disposal. I'm not, I'm not the only one that this has happened to. Well, there's a product for it. You can cut up limes and, and lemons and throw them in and hope that it doesn't and dish soap. But this product, Plank, that I've had forever. Look at how many I've, I've used a bunch. I've used this many. Um, you drop one in with... Uh, a stream of warm running water and you turn your disposal on and it makes your garbage disposal smell like spring really you really need to stop giving these free plugs i know well, <laughs> i don't know how obscure a little company this is you never know this is the 20 pack though i'm just telling you don't suffer through shitty stinking garbage disposals in canada um it's called the garburator that's the make of it and people will say, oh, my garburator broke. And if I say to somebody down here, hey, if I said to you, my garburator broke, what would that mean? You get punched. You get, <laughs> people you call wouldn't me? know. <laughs> Why do I have to get such shit on this show? <laughs> stupid. Uh, You're stupid. Uh, we have another anthem. No. Yep, oh, yep. I so said five. Boy. I'm going with five. And this will be an easy one. You know nobody's gotten any of this them, This right? will be an easy one. Ready? Here we go. Oh gosh! Seriously. Don't say it out loud. Uh, are they even in the World Cup? <laughs> Shouldn't you be standing? <laughs> we should be standing. No, we won't. I mean, Facebook is just blowing up right now. Uh, you know what? You guys are. Yeah, I don't know if you this sense is related the sarcasm. to what you just played, but yeah. has Canada ever been in the World Cup? <laughs> 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 Everybody's got one. Yeah, thank you. Um, I feel like I've done this before. Somebody mentioned it to me the other day, and I feel like I need to mention it again. Yes. When you go to a restaurant with a gift certificate, uh -oh. you tip on the amount that the bill was, not what the bill is. Pretty simple concept. Yeah. It's a very simple concept. Please, please, please well, do that. What happened? Well, I know people don't do that. If you go to a restaurant and they send you out a bunch of free shit, I mean, did that this, happens sometimes. Something happened to you recently? No, 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 not to me. No, 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 no. A restaurant friend said, you know, we were talking about that. And I just feel the need to mention it. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I, got nothing, I got nothing more than that, but I don't think it's a point that needs, wish... should, should go without, you know. But there must have been a reason why you want to reiterate the fact. Yeah. No, I, I don't have a restaurant. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Do we talk about that woman being gay? No, we have. Yeah. Okay, so no, you know what I really wanted? Yeah, okay. I'm taking charge. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Anthony Bourdain is coming out with a brand new show called yeah, The Layover. We've talked about it previously on the show. Honestly, I'm kind of excited about it because I feel like Anthony's show, his regular one, is a little... Um, Hang on, Sam. Yeah. Are you, are you like moving around something? I think it's, watch your love, Steve. 
Me? Uh, his hand was right on his chest. I'm, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's me. Uh, well, my love is here. Let's move on. I'm not doing it. Anthony Bourdain has a new show. Anthony Bourdain's new show. Um, I'm excited about it because it's it's 24 hours of what he would do in a city if that's all he had. I like his other show. I just don't watch it. I thought I you were into it. Uh, no reservations? Yeah. I find it a little bit condescending. I like no reservations. I think that's just his attitude. I guess. feel like Anthony Bourdain believes he's talking to a very specific audience in New York, and the thought bubble above his head is... <laughs> Nobody's gonna get this except you people in New York. I totally agree. Really? I, <laughs> right? I Steve think it agrees. makes you want to go places. That's the idea of this show. It makes me want to go places. Well, but Lynn, you're a food snob, so, <laughs> and we, and that's pretty obvious, right? I don't know if I'm. He's a, wait, let's. A, he's got a new uh, book imprint too. I think through Harper Collins. A new book imprint? What yep. does that mean? That means that there will be books that are published under his um, section of the publishing house. Oh, I like that. A section. So he, yeah, so he gets to publish books that he wants to see published, oh. uh, whether oh, they're his or someone else's. That's cool. Okay, so but we got a clip of the new show, Max. Yep, we're going. Here it right, is. Here we go. Oh, I don't <laughs> know why it's not playing mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's uh, coming. Nice work. Look at Zachy back there pouring milk. Good boy, Zach. <laughs> Zach just came home from exercise. From exercise. <laughs> I know Sean's away, and Max said to me, "Just in case things don't go perfectly, just know it's that two people doing the work of three. So here's the here's the clip. You ready? Which is my daily uh, regimen in this house. One person doing the work of three. But whatever. Okay, ready? Let's go. Here we go. Jesus. Nice. There you go. My name's Anthony Bourdain, writer, traveler, professional leader. That's good. Oh, that's magic. Mm. And for the last few years, host of a show called No Reservations. That's the good stuff. Now I'm hosting a new show called The Layover. Oh, okay. I'm like any traveler. I visit major cities. I enjoy major cities. There's never a shortage of things to do. Oh, Let's face it, when you travel, the shortage is usually time. So on my new show, The Layover on Travel Channel, I'm going to show you how to cut right to the good stuff. Let's go. We're visiting major cities in the US, Asia, and Europe for only 24 to 48 hours. Each episode, we take one city, New York, Singapore, Hong Kong, Montreal, just to name a few, and I give you my list. Dive bars to five stars. This is what I would do in one action-packed adventure. Don't miss Anthony Bourdain in an all-new series, The Layover, coming in November, only on Travel Channel. Only on Travel Channel. Only on Travel Channel. It looks cool. Actually, I like it. It, it looks... I just hope he's not, you know... He does have that way about him. He does. He really you know does. what? And I know if you pick up on that and I pick up on that, I do. we're right. All right, here we go. Anthem oh, number four. Shut on. the F up. Come on, I said. <laughs> no. Please here we us. go. Ready? Max, I'm going to make this... Over. Do you want an easy one? Uh, as easy as I can. Ready? Here we go. Number four. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Thank you very much. That was anthem number four. This is so exciting. I'm going to make something good for somebody. Somebody's going to get something good. And I don't give a shit what you people here think. Okay. That was my yeah. father's line. Okay, okay, okay. It's all you. My dad would say, um, we have been talking about going out for dinner and where do you want to go? And my father would say, I don't care, wherever... You people want to go. And I always felt like that was so Im impersonal. I love my dad, but my dad's not the warm he's not the warmest guy on the planet. <laughs> Whatever you people want to do is fine. I don't care. <laughs> what do you people want? What? Well, like we're strangers out in the middle of the street? Whatever you people want to do? Dad. 
We're we, we're loved ones. There's someone behind you eating. Yeah, <laughs> Zach is just sitting there, and Jordan's walking around. <laughs> They're just They're whispering out. to each other. I think we should cook that bluefin tuna. I'm hungry now. Yeah, me too. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> Can I read you an email I got the other day? <laughs> sure. Go for it. Uh, all right. Here's a guy that uh, sent this email. Mondays are rough. I know. <laughs> I don't know why Mondays are rough. What? <laughs> why are Mondays uh, rough? I just want you to hop in the kitchen at this point. Uh, can I read an email? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do it? Mm. <laughs> how, many, how many of those have you had? It's the first one. <laughs> You're <laughs> stupid. You putting it? I can start going through food news if we want. I bought your book while you were having a book signing at Naval Station San Diego a few years ago. Brought the book back home. My, my wife was so happy about it was showing it to all her friends. Since then, we've divorced. <laughs> oh, I'm not laughing at that. And when, we, and when we divided all of our household goods, she was pretty fair about everything. But she refused to give me her cookbook. <laughs> okay. Is there any way I could get another signed cookbook from you? The guy's in the, he's a fucking Marine. A Marine could not wrestle a Sam the Cooking Guy cookbook out of his wife's hands. Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Norm, I'm here for you. I will send you a book, dude, for you. Nice. And you know what? You could get something really special if you could <sighs> just add this last anthem to the list. Here <laughs> we go. So stupid. <laughs> how excited we all are. <laughs> are you playing the whole thing? Shut up. People might be... People might be right there guessing, Lynn, and you talk up. You know what? This is going to definitely make our Sam the Live cast greatest hits. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm why. the one sitting looking at the guesses and there's none. I don't know why I wouldn't. Okay, so let me just talk about Karen Golden for a second. Karen, San Diego, foodstuff.com. She brought me a present. I did. I'm going to show you what this is. Presents. You did bring she me many did. presents. Yummy presents. Okay, let me just get a really cool, a really beautiful one. Hold on. That looks like a tortilla tray. It does look like a tortilla tray, man. Nice job. Ready? I'm going to hold one up. One. But they're not just tortillas. Karen, say what they are. These are corn tortillas with edible flowers pressed into them. Wow, look at that. Look oh, at bad that. finger. That's it's awesome. Amazing. That's unbelievable. It's like edible art. So you know what? Kelly and, I ate, uh, Kelly and I ate in a restaurant in Los Angeles that I saw something like this. And we were like absolutely blown away how this would happen how does this happen this happens so easily it's ridiculous you just make your corn tortillas using the masa that you would buy at the store you know they sell big bags of this at any grocery store right follow the directions to make it which is just the ground up ground up corn, corn right right add water a little salt to it a friend of mine adds a little honey whatever right and you you press it once lightly to yes. kind of get it flat then you take the flowers. I brought you some flowers right here, look special behind to look, produce. Check this out. Yeah, so I got nasturtiums and uh, violets at uh, specialty produce because I didn't have any growing. And you take so the edible flowers. Off. Wait, what are the nasturtiums and what? Those are violets under there. Violets? Pansies. Pansies. You can eat pansies. Sure. Haven't you heard of like candied pansies? You know, candied violets. Um, I don't write a food blog. Well, no. my mother was doing this gazillion years ago. I know a kid named Candy Pansy when I was growing <laughs> up, but it was just because people were making fun of him. Yeah, no, those you can like yeah. dip in um, like uh, an egg wash and then, or, or egg whites and then dip in sugar and people candy them all the time. Nasturtiums are great and they're kind of peppery tasting. Look I how gorgeous them. those are. Aren't they beautiful? Fully edible. Big so I was making cool. um, some gazpacho for um, kids at Olivewood Gardens where I volunteer. And I was trying to figure out something to make with them. I'm going to take this off. I can't hear them. Well, this is really good. Yeah, they're great. 
So I was thinking, okay, what can I do? They are peppery. I thought it was going to taste like a flower. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're, they're rather peppery. The leaves are really peppery, too. They're oh, they're delicious. delicious. Put them in salads. Put them, you know, in, cook with them. Put them in omelets. <laughs> all sorts of things. Wow. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to taste just yeah. like leafy or something. No, no. They're terrific. They and they're so that, uh, pretty, aren't they? Extraordinary desserts too, sometimes, right? On top of oh, they, Karen wow. Krasny puts every flower imaginable yeah. on okay. her, her cakes. So, in any case, what you do is you take the stem off at the back, yeah, and you press that into, or you lay that onto the now sort of semi-pressed out tortilla. Press again; it goes right into the tortilla, and, and then you cook the tortilla. And then you cook the them, and that's it. That is it. Tell me, friend. where have you do, where do you do this? You do this do with this little kids? All, I do this with kids at Olive Wood Gardens, which is a seven acre property down in National City. And we work with primarily low income Hispanic kids in the neighborhood yeah. to get them to learn how to garden and then learn how to cook a little. I mean, we want them to be self sufficient. We don't want them to be fat. We want them to are, be healthy. Are they blown away when they see flowers being this put in these things? This is one of the hits of. of you know all of the things that we make it turned out to be one of those things that just kind of got to be gorgeous. okay so i'll be honest with you you know what i knew you were coming and i knew you were bringing these and i knew i had the tuna last night and i thought i'm gonna make tuna tartare tonight but i said i would wait and see what you brought i'm not i'm making uh i'm gonna make some some seared tuna tacos to go in these because these are effing amazing they're really cool they're gorgeous and you know what if you don't have the flowers you can do herbs you can press herbs into them. You can press anything in here. Rosemary. Oh my God, look at this one. Um, Check that out. Episote is in yeah. there. Yeah, you can put episote in there. You can put, I put chives. Look at that. The dude. kids like to make faces and stuff with the mm, herbs and the really flowers. Cute. That one's yeah, nice. that's really that's cute. cute. I call that okay. one. Sean, wait, Sean is asking if there's any nutritional value. Which I'm, I'm guessing very little, right? right? I think it's for. probably fairly negligible. Right. But you know what? The, the flip side of that is there's no fat in it. Right. And there's well, that's so, nutritional right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right. Let me grab my drink. I'm gonna come over here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're well, gonna. We're gonna. Really? What? <laughs> the cooking transition that usually happens. No, I, know, I, I just know. came back to address the cooking transition. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to sit? Is down? it really <laughs> Monday night? No, no, I like. Okay. I like the shot. Stand right yeah, there. No. What do you want? What do you? Do you want an extra? <laughs> do you want an extra anthem? No. No, no please don't. Well, it's like the uh, pick. We have guests. I will, pick, I will pick cut your six microphone. plus one other. Anthem. I will cut your microphone if you do another you anthem. You just need no, to just grow up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? I don't know. I thought it was obvious what I was doing. God. We don't have lights <sighs> on this camera. I thought it was obvious what I was doing. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, while you're sitting there, get ready because I'm going to go to the kitchen now and cook, bitches. Let me get to it at the end, yes? Oh, God. It's just too much. There's too much. I don't know what the problem with a Monday night is. I don't think it's been a problem before. Has it been a, has it been a problem before? No, we're Max. fine here. <laughs> All right, so look what we've got. We've got, um, check out, here's the tuna. Ready? Boom, look at that. Right here, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that blue fin right there. I gotta find something to cook it in. And the other thing I need to do is I need to, wait. Noisy was it? What's the big deal? Does everybody freak out about? Everybody freaks out about the noise. <laughs> I got a couple uh, mangoes. I'm gonna make a little salsa to go with this. This thing that Kelly bought yesterday, this elephant mango, will be ready in. It'll be ready in 2014. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so check this out. Let's do this. Here we go. Let me take this guy right here, this beautiful piece right here. Look how nice that is. We're gonna give it a little oil, a little salt and pepper.
And uh, we want to, I want to salt it well, but I want to pepper it even, even better well. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, pepper it even better well? <laughs> I just want it to be kind of peppery. Just curious. Yes? You always get fresh fish like this? It's kind of cool. Uh, I get fresh fish like this when uh, my friend Joe G brings it right from the boat. Uh, if you can get your friends to bring you this kind of fish, you'll be, uh, you'll be very fortunate. The same time I'm going to do this, I'm going to try and bust out a little mango salsa and see if we can make this happen to go, to go in these things. I got too much here. It's not going to happen. I'm trying to... Let me find a little bowl. I know, I know, I know. All right. All right. So mango, you just scoop out like this. It's like how you scoop out an avocado. Exactly. Well, right. Until we had the problem with the avocado the other night, right? Hey, you know that low-fat avocado? Steve yeah. is right. It kind of tasted like a mango. That low-fat fat avocado was a waste of time if you're buying an <laughs> avocado. Wait, Lynn, you took pictures of it. Do you have those pictures? Yeah, yeah, I'll send them to you. I have. Hey, Why don't you show uh, people? I got a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sandy wants to know if you can substitute a white fish like tilapia for the tuna. Absolutely. There you go, Sandy. Wait, she says she doesn't like tuna? Why not? She's not a tuna fan, I guess. Oh, and we've got some guesses for the... Uh, for the national <laughs> anthem. We do not. We, yeah, we do. This will be good. Are you ready? Yeah. I mean, you have all of the answers in your head, right? No, I've got them written down. <laughs> well, that's, that's a failed segment. Okay, well. Wait, wait, maybe, you, wait, maybe you shouldn't say it. I don't think, I don't, honestly, I don't think you should say them. Okay. Because I think that we need to do them on uh, Facebook. Because if you say them, Somebody might have two or one and be able to add that they've learned from another one. That's a good no, point. No, I don't think this contest has legs. I think this contest has fucking legs. Like now. It has All right, so I've got, man I've got mango in here. Uh, ginger that I cut up earlier because I knew it was going to take a little bit of time. I also wanted to cut up some red onion and I didn't do that. And now I've got to do this super quick and, and it's an ugly red onion that's been sitting on my back counter for a while. And <coughs> Hold on. That Nobody do do hate do me. Come on. Here hey, we are. On. Look, it, it's, a cooking, it's a cooking show. You know what? People cook on these shows and sometimes everything's not all cut up and they just got to deal with it. And the people in the back don't get out of their chairs well, and start dissing the person that's doing the hard I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about our Facebook fans because they're more interesting. <laughs> there you go. Okay, this guy actually just caught this bluefin tuna the other day, like a week ago, and he's making it tonight. How cool is that's that? That's huge. Yeah, what's, he do, what's he doing with it? Uh, hold on, Lynn. I need to go back. Okay. Uh, this is Evan Walsh. It says, coincidentally, I'm making bluefin tuna tonight, too. I caught it a few weeks ago, and my freezer is full of it right now. I'm going to have to try your recipe next time. Jeez, that's huge. Okay, well, that's beautiful, right? Do you right? see that fish? That's huge. And look, there, look at all the blood, just like you guys were talking about. Oh, nice. Gr gross. Okay, good. <laughs> Do you see what's going on here? I've got mango. I've got red onion. I've got, um, what have I got? What is that? It's ginger. Ginger, thank you. Thank you. And now I want some lime. I want zest. You guys know about this thing? It's a zester. It's called the microplane zester. It's made by a company that started making woodworking tools. Like you would ch -ch -ch take the edges off of a hard corner. Somebody decided that if they used it like this, you'd be able to get just the color off of a piece of uh, citrus. And the color is where this, the flavor is. If you get down to this white part, that's a bitter, nasty, piece called the pith yeah. and you don't, you don't want, want the that pith. no pith Blake really likes the flower things you want to see his picture yes do I <laughs> 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 fuck yeah that's what did I say that no no I don't think I you did. were probably thinking it <laughs> but those those are that, that's my favorite tortilla I want to say that one. 
That one, okay, Lynn, I'm going to save that one for you. You, you said that when I showed oh, okay. it. <laughs> you said that when I showed it. Okay, we've got this, we've got this. What else do we need in here? We need a little oil. For our listeners? Yes? What are you oh, doing? sorry. Yeah. I'm mixing mango, red onion, ginger, and lime zest. I want a little um, cilantro. Oh, Kelly. Yes. Could you give me some? I'll do it. No, I'll get it. Be better. I'll oh, get boy. it. I'll get it. You're not doing I'll it. I'll get it. <laughs> Everybody, uh, just wait. Wow. Okay then. So there's not Girls. much of a show going on in the kitchen. <laughs> What's going on over here? I'm looking actually at colleges for Zach. We're trying to find his safety schools. <laughs> yeah. And we're arguing. Uh, nice. Because we don't know how many safety schools there actually are. <laughs> and what are some upcoming things? <laughs> oh, he's back. That's he's going back. on. He's back. Oh, that's He's fine. Back. What's going on in, on the blog world? In the blog world? <laughs> Let's see. What am I doing? Oh, um, tomorrow I'm going to post something on this guy named um, Phil Noble's uh, company, which is Sage Mountain Beef. People might know uh, Sage Mountain Farms for all of the vegetables and stuff, but he has got cattle, and the cattle eat uh, the produce that he grows, so they're really, wow. they taste good because wow. they're eating really good things. And uh, he's now selling the beef at the farmer's markets. Oh, nice. So, cool. Yeah, so I'll have something on that tomorrow. Meanwhile. Oh, are you, are you back? I'm back. <laughs> and I've gotten cilantro out of my vertical earth garden outside. I'm going to drop it in here. I don't know why you guys doubt me. What do you, we it don't took doubt me like you. two seconds yeah, to get It's just there. a little slow in the kitchen tonight. No, I don't really think it is. That salsa looks amazing, at least. It does. I'm really excited. All right, that's ready to go. The tuna's here. This pan is uh, is almost there. But didn't you say you didn't want to make two things tonight? Mm -hmm. That's what you were telling me all day, and that mango salsa could have been a thing on its own. Mm -hmm. oh, come and on. you haven't touched the tuna uh, yet. You know, why am I such... Uh, we love you. We're sorry. Yeah, I know. Do you have any idea how slow those other cooking shows go? There's a lot of information being processed tonight and passed over. Blake wants to know if Zach can put can dunk with two hands on his application. <laughs> oh, Zachy. Oh, man. Blake I wants to know if you can put can dunk with two hands on your application. <laughs> <laughs> little pepper, a little pepper in the salsa and a little bit of salt. We all know salt goes in everything and makes it very nice, right? Brings out the natural flavors. Okay. Oops. Oops. And so... Here we go. Okay. I'm going to put the tuna in, and I'm going to cook the tuna. It's basically three-sided. I'm going to cook it in this hot pan until it's still rare in the middle. Is that hot? That's how I want to put it in. Ready? One, two. Sizzle. So you're definitely not cooking this all the way through. This is just a sear job? It's a sear job. Okay. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh God. I've never heard that expression before, Max. Uh, yeah, I, it just came out. He just made but it, it, it totally works. <laughs> um, I can't well. wait to use the, uh, I can't wait to use uh, Karen's tortillas, because they're going to be Yeah, I can't wait to amazing. taste them. I've so while that's cooking, do you want to take? Do you want to talk about something else? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you hate me so much. No, I'm though. not. I want to go. It's to a cooking show, really. I mean, it's. Honestly I just want to see if you can guess. What's the number ten most watched cook show? Cooking show. What do I think? Yeah. Really? There's ten cooking shows just that give, are worth. You know watching? what? Just give us one you think that's in the top ten. I think Rachel Ray's in the top ten. Oh, number guess. ten. Wow. Wait, she's only number 10? She's number 10, yep. Yeah. Okay, can you give us number one and we'll guess it? No, don't do that. Mm, yeah, but I have what? <laughs> guess another one in the, okay, just guess any cooking show that you think might be in the top 10 and I'll give you the numbers. Um, Paula Dean. No. She's not even in top 10? Nope. Oh. Iron Chef America? Iron Chef America, not in the top 10. Chopped? Not in the top 10. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean that. Wow. wow. Didn't mean that anger. Who's number 10? Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray. Oh, Rachel Ray. Okay. What okay, I, I mean, honestly, I, 
I can't really guess anything below that. What about Giada De Laurentiis, or what's the name of the Italian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not on the list. Okay, I can't, I mean, okay, do you I'm guys forget the, about Martha uh, Stewart? Tessa? Well, hey, go, go, for, go 10 down. Let's go, let's go 10 down. Okay. <laughs> Starting with Rachel Ray, 2.6 million viewers. Next, Martha Stewart Living, 2.8 million. Eight, Bravo's Top Chef, 3.2 million. Okay, I don't, we don't care about the numbers. Just okay, tell us the name. Okay, America's Next Great Restaurant, Master Chef, Hell's Kitchen, Wait, 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 wait. America's Next Great Restaurant was an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry, it was an awful show. Whoa. Wait, what was, Master Chef was what? Master Chef was six. Six? Wow. Okay, number surprised. five? Hell's Kitchen. Really? Mm-hmm. That's not a cooking show. But people love to see Gordon Ramsay get all the That's a comp up. yeah, I guess I guess I just don't see that as a cooking show. You know what I mean? People love to see Sam get all mad and angry too. <laughs> <laughs> What's number four? Number four is the frugal gourmet. Oh. Wait a second. Hey. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, the frugal gourmet hasn't been live on television for probably ten years. Number two, he was a pervert that was convicted of <laughs> molesting, molesting little kids. What? Yeah. Are you yeah, Jeff yeah. Smith was a perv. He lived in Seattle, and it was effing wrong. Excuse, excuse me too, for. Wasn't he? Sorry. I think he was some kind of a minister too, wasn't he? Oh, I don't know. God. Wow. Okay, so look at what we've got. We've got the tuna. The tuna's here. I'm gonna warm up um, Karen's tortillas. Just a little bit. I know she said not to. Smoking. <laughs> so she said Smoking. not to and you're going to do it anyway? Karen said no, they're ready to go. But I just, I just want them to have just a little bit. Of warmth. This is Lynn's. See this? That's Lynn wants that. I won't cook that now. Check out how smoky it is. I'm going to make one. Oh, gonna yeah. One. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to throw one on. And here's the tuna. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. That tuna looks so good. Nothing like fresh tuna. Sam is slicing it as we speak with not the Guy Fieri knife. That kind of looks like um, Captain Crunch tuna, except without the Captain Crunch on the side. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Nicely rare in the middle. And you wouldn't have to do this hot. You could put just a couple of... You could cut this and let it um, sort of come to room temp or something. It would be fine. Mm -hmm. What do you want, Steve? Yep, that was it. That's good. You can put sour, do we want sour cream, Steve, yes or no? Yes. Steve wants sour cream. So yeah, we do. I don't have any here. Kelly. Or that, what is it, creme fresca? Creme fresh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kelly. Wow, well, Steve. Yes. <laughs> can you that's, grab, that's can you Spanish. grab, uh, I took French. Uh, what do you need? I, I, I have a sour cream you. outside. Okay. I have a sour cream right, outside. If it's outside, then it's not a big deal, I don't Zach think. Zach is going, he's going to sprint. Go, Zach, go. Go, Zach, go. So Karen, do I want to, I want the this on the inside? I don't know. Normally, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna put on the inside. Wow, this is gonna be really good. Okay, here's what Zachy. Zachy's bringing a little, uh, a little sour cream. Let me just try. Oh, I'm hungry now. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing. Not fair. While we're waiting for the sour cream, you can do this without blue flint tuna. You can go to the store and buy a piece of tuna and bring it home and, and use it from there because it's gonna be great. Thank you, baby. Oh, I want the good there, thank you. Right, shh, okay. Okay, here we go. I, I gotta do it on the other side, Karen, I'm sorry. It's too pretty to... You do whatever you want. Thank you. Okay, so we've got this. We've got a little crunch from the um, cabbage. And now we've got a few pieces of the tuna. I can just do this myself. Inside, and check this out. Just a little bit of this. Oh, come on now. Tell me that this isn't gonna be just unbelievable. Oh, it looks mm. so good. Fortunately, I'm the only person here that's gonna be able to <laughs> taste it and let you know. <laughs> wow, that's and a big bite. <laughs> mm. How mm. is it? Okay, don't leave out the ginger, for sure. All right, let me see it. Mm. If you want me to blog it, I gotta see it. Take a photo of it. 
You're supposed to blog everything or we'll talk nasty about it. I you. know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a picture. We can take pictures after. We will get you beautiful photos. I can assure All right. you of that. This is a 10. We have a hookup. <laughs> it's five to seven. We've done a good job tonight. And uh, the contest, the anthem contest. Uh -oh. I'm gonna give something great. People won't believe what they're gonna get. I'm not affiliated with this <laughs> contest, just for the record. I hate everybody in this room right now. This is amazing. Uh -huh. I'm not in that room. You're very These welcome. are beautiful. We're going to pimp your blog. Steve? She wanted to plug something. Wait, one more oh, thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, uh, Oliveswood Gardens, where I make these, um, is having a wonderful uh, two-day fundraiser this weekend. So we've got, it's called Heart of the Harvest, mm. and we are going to have a big dinner Friday night, uh, uh, Saturday night with about 15 chefs in town making different courses um, on the premises under the stars. And then the next day is a big picnic for about $15 a person and kids under 12 or 40. And where do they where do they go for information? They go to www.olivewoodgardens.org. Olivewoodgardens.org. And this go to www holy shit that's the most amazing little fresh bluefin tuna taco on a nasturtium tortilla that I've ever had in my effing life. <laughs> Is that too long? Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. It's All right. Lucky. Wednesday night. <laughs> Steve goes. It's probably taken. Wednesday night. We'll be here. <laughs> lots of fun, and we'll reveal the results of the anthem contest. Bitches. See you then. <laughs> Bye. The Sam Livecast has been brought to you by Fixtures Living and Donovan's Steak and Chop House and Donovan's Prime Seafood.